Hey everyone, so I wanted to showcase a tire applicator that's getting traction over in the UK. Uh, not so much in the States here, um, but they're on, on Detailing World, somebody posted a link to the CarScope uh, tire applicator that looks similar to this. You know, the fine uh, bristles here. And, you know, comes in this little thing here. This is actually a makeup one that you, um, somebody had found that's very similar to it. They say that the bristles and everything are the same. I don't really know because that CarScope one is, is you have to buy it overseas um, and uh, you know it costs more to sh get it shipped over here so I was like oh, let me try one of these so I bought two because guys were saying that they're perfect for like a uh, Gion Q2 tire uh, and like I said it does work with this type of dressing on here because I did use it and you can see it you know turned a little dark here um, it does work it does work but again it just like everything else it has its pros and cons on it and so i picked up another one it's like let me try it with the with the water-based uh tire dressing that's not as thick you know for example if i had pearl diluted one to one would it work you know because pearl undiluted you can it would work just fine or you know like you know thick type uh, tire dressing uh so i was like oh, let me let me try it. So i was trying this last night with the obsessed garage tire dressing uh, so i dressed three tires on the grand prix I saved one because I ran out of daylight and I couldn't really show it on, on camera. Uh, but most of the time I'm using like, you know, I kind of ran out of these CarPro tire applicators and I mean these are good too. Uh, this curvature thing is nice but uh, they're not, they're good, they're not they're not great. Um, you know, again they, they have their pros and cons like everything else. I actually prefer the Tough Shine tire applicator uh, for a tire dressing. I was using this one with the McKees thing and it got pretty crispy here. But I can use this other side for tire dressings. Um, but I like these. I think they they work really well. They're they're pretty dense at first, but once they soak up product, they become softer. And but they they can get into any other place. And like I said, they work really well. And so I'm gonna just go ahead and uh, take over the Obsessed Garage tire dressing. I'm gonna take the tire brush here I used. I'm gonna take this because I'm gonna get to the bottom of the tire. Okay, so again, pretty straightforward. I'm gonna get down low so I can get to this guy. Uh, one thing is you wanna prime these uh, tire applicators, these brushes, um, before you put the, the product on there. I think I close this. So I'll kinda just load it up. Let me just work it in with the nozzle here. And then just apply it um, in here. Like I said, it works good, but you have to really prime the applicator uh, pretty well. The benefit is it can get onto these outer tread patterns here easier. And it's ergonomic, you can just hold it between your fingers and you're good to go. So some guys were saying that it saves you product uh, I, th I I kind of agree with that. I think it it does save um, some product, and one of the benefits is because it's you know this is like a real uh, soft plastic. You're not going to scratch your wheel. You can get in between if you have a lip on the tire. But yeah, I just kind of work it in until I get an even application.
going to get this inner lip first. And then I'll show you where the drawbacks are to this type of um, tire dressing uh, in this applicator. It's um, down here towards the bottom. Uh, you're not going to have the best access to the bottom of the tire because it's going to hit uh, this outer edge. So you're either going to have to move your car up a little bit or you get yourself uh, a you know, put put the tire up on like on a block or, or raise it somehow, and then it'll get underneath. And so I think that's one of the cons uh, for this thing. But I mean, for the most part, it does a pretty decent job getting tire dressing on here. I don't know if you need to have this or if it's the best applicator. <coughs> Again, each of you is going to have to answer that question on your own if you want to try it. I'll post the Amazon link where I purchased it. I'll post the CarScope one if you guys want to buy that one directly from um, from the dealer there, from CarScope. Uh, but yeah, for the most part, I mean, it gives an even application. And, you know, the good thing is you can store this back in here and you're set. But because I can't get to the bottom of that, I'm just going to go ahead and use this one that's I have labeled as the OG tire and I can just shove that down there so uh, that's pretty much it I just want to kind of just showcase this uh, tire brush here and I'll walk around to the other side to kind of just show you uh, the type of actually I'll just walk to the back tire to show you the way it applies but I mean it goes on even uh, it spreads out very well. Uh, you can get into like these little ridges here. You can get into in the treads here, and uh, you're pretty pretty much good to go. I'm gonna just let this dry and then uh, come back and wipe it down. But we'll come over here, and uh, you know you can see like over here it looks like I didn't get enough product on here. Uh, so again, it's got its pros and cons. I was applying this last night and it was wasn't the best uh, type of time to put it on, but for the most part, it gives a, a nice, uh, even layer on the tires. And I think, it, like I said, it, it works. It does a good job. And here's the other side. Uh, so this side looks very nice. And again, the Obsessed Garage tire dressing is not going to give you the most gloss. It's going to look like a real matte finish, uh, sand type finish. So I just want to give you an idea of this type of tire applicator, what it's capable of. Uh, kind of just expose you to some things that are like in the forum world that don't really make it to uh, be you know on regular YouTube stuff but again if you find these maybe give it a try and then really the way I clean it is I'll take a you know, towel it doesn't have to be a shop towel and then I'll just uh, clean the bristles off and take some of the excess product out you don't have to do this I'm just doing it just to keep the brush uh, semi-clean and then I'm left with a relatively clean brush and then I'll put it back in its container and then just put it back in there and then down here I labeled it OG tire with the sharpie so I know it's dedicated to that particular tire dressing so I just want to kind of expose you to that uh, they're not that expensive uh, I want to say they were like five dollars or something like that. I bought two of them. I can't remember how much I paid for them on Amazon, but I just want to give you an idea of what what those are, what those do uh, in terms of applying a tire versus a foam applicator. Is it the best type of applicator? Again, you're gonna to have to kind of judge that. I, I think they work good. I, I don't think they're the best uh, for me. You know, I still prefer the Tough Shine foam. Uh, but again, it, it's a good applicator. And again, certain tire dressings are gonna work better with it uh, than others. But for the most part, they get the job done. And uh, I think if you guys want to give it a try, I'll just post a link uh, to the Amazon one where I bought it. And then also if you're in overseas in the UK area, I will post the CarScope one. Uh, you can find similar ones on AliExpress, I believe, is where people were posting links. So if you guys want to, if you guys want to shop there, you can buy them there. There's plenty of there, plenty of them there. I'll just put the name of the of the. Uh, of the tire 
of the applicator of the brush and then you guys can kind of just uh, look for it and see if it's something you want to try uh, maybe it's it'll be um, really really a, a really good product for you and somebody asked if it can use tire this can be used with tire coatings I'm sure it would work with tire coatings um, the bristles are very uh, soft and I think it would do a good job like the McKees 37 tire tire coating would probably work really well for it tough shine things like that uh, with the C quartz blackout probably not I'd probably stick with an auto fiber applicator for that uh, but for the most part this uh, these were good and if you guys have any comments or questions on this type of um, tire applicator you know feel free to ask and you know I'll just kind of just say hey you know give it a shot and and see if you like it so if you have any comments or questions on this one go ahead and uh, post down below thanks for watching